to start out? You want to start? I'll start. Right. Or we can continue with the music. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Weekly Flare. This is episode 26. I'm hosting today. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. Chris Garcia, and we have James. James, go ahead. James. James, James Walter. Go ahead, Walter. <laughs> That's me. But yeah, we've got a good lineup like we do every week. Every week we've you, got a good lineup. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling like we're, we're a little off the wall today. Yeah. We're going off the cuff, as they say. Yeah, it's, it's been a very long week. It's Wednesday. Same amount of time as usual. I guess yesterday was already. I don't think there was like any weird solar things going on that made it an extra long week. I don't think so. I don't think so. How's work? Work's very busy. I went in at 7 a.m. this morning and got off at 6. And tomorrow I'm going in at 6 a.m. Are you getting off it? Uh, Well, I'm leaving early tomorrow actually. But that had nothing to do with today. That's just tomorrow I'm going in early so I can leave early. Going to the airport? Nope. Going to the baseball game. So we're gonna go get dinner and then go to the baseball game. Okay. Which game are you gonna go see? The grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Yeah. Do you prefer the grasshoppers or the dash? Grasshoppers all the way. Why is that? Because the game's more enjoyable. I prefer the dash. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I like the grasshoppers more. So. I'm weird. That's that. That's our single A baseball for you. Both. Chris, good. maybe we should get into the story. We shall get into some stories. Okay. What do you got for us, Mr. Host? Coming from the new iPhone Ooh, 6. Ooh, the iPhone 6. I'm so happy. I'm, I, I We've talked about it on the podcast ever since episode 1. Ever since episode 1. That I wanted a phone, and I finally got an, epi- or a, an iPhone 6. Finally got the iPhone 6. How are you liking it? I like it a lot. Is it big? Yes. Is it too big? No. If you're buying Fallout 4, it's a good thing you didn't get the 6 Plus. I know. Because it won't fit I, in the pet boy. I looked at the iPhone 6. The guy handed both of them in my hands. I tried to hold the 6 Plus, and I couldn't hold it in my that hand. That 6 Plus is big. It's way too big. It's I need a one-handed phone, I mean, and this is perfect. With those skinny jeans, I don't think it even fit in your pocket. It won't even fit in my back. It wouldn't pocket. even fit in the pocket. No. It'd be like sticking out this tall, and your pocket would be bulging. It'd probably tear through them in like a day. Probably. I'm trying to figure out what they're going to do next. What they're going to do with the 6S, or they're, they're going to do, do the iPhone 6 Plus Plus. Plus Plus. Plus Plus. And it'll basically be an iPad. I can't really see it. I, I can see thinner, but I can't see bigger. I think they're going to go with the iPhone divided by zero, because it'll just be undefined. Hmm. Do you think they've reached their limit? Uh, no, of course not. People are still buying them. They'll just make a new screen. Make a new screen, make it thinner? Yeah, I don't know if it can get much thinner. Hmm. And then the camera is kind of limiting how, thin it, how much thinner it can get at this point. Sure. Because like on my iPod, the camera actually sticks out the back because it's so thin. That's how it is with this yeah. one too. The camera is really limiting how much thinner they can really make anything. Because people want it back facing and front facing mm. and they want it to be, you know, all the stuff people mm. want their camera on their phone to do. So um, is there a way to put up on the, on the, uh, the website, we can do a vote, if we can get some votes in, what people prefer, Android, Droid, iPhone? Yeah, I could probably you do something like throw that. something up there. I'm sure there's a WordPress, WordPress plugin that yeah. does that. We'll do that. You guys keep watching, keep listening every single week. But for right now, we're going to get into some stories. You should listen right now when we talk about really old birthday cards. Old Since birthday cards. we know that's cards. why you all came. Yes. That's, that's what we started off with in the tweet that we sent. Yes. Birthday cards. Tell me about these old birthday cards. Do you get a lot of birthday cards? Uh, once a year. I would hope so. You don't have two? No, just one. I have 364 unbirthdays. I don't give you cards for those. Uh, so. Merry, merry <laughs> birthday to you. No? Okay. No. No? You didn't watch uh, Alice in Wonderland? Very long time ago. Oh, okay. And you rewatched Mad Hatter? No? The new one or the old ones? The old one. The, the animated. Okay, just tell me about the birthday card. The birthday card. This birthday card has been passed around for 40 years. This card on it says, don't throw away, don't throw this card away. Recycle and give it to a friend. Really? So have they all signed it? Um, this, they're 40 years worth of signatures? These, these two brothers, for 40 years, have signed the card and sent it back and forth to each other. Oh, so it's just their name over and over? Yes. Well, that's boring. Yes. But it's just very interesting because if you look at the card, it'll say Jeff, and then Jeff like 94, Jeff 95, or you know 2011. And there's one on here that says, forgot to, forgot to sign. I, I guess Ron, it's Jeff and Ron, and they sign it every single year. And I just thought it was really so funny. So Jeff and Ron have sent the same card back and forth, even though it said, don't recycle, give to a friend. Do they not have any friends? 
I said don't throw away, give it to a friend. That's true, if I said don't recycle, <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Although that sounds something more like you put on a card because you want them to buy more. You want to do this back and forth and see how far we can go? We have a Chia Pet in the family that we've been passing around since when Chia Pets were a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's at right now. Do I still have it? I might still have it. Is it one of the boxes? Yeah. I think I might have just kept it and been like, this is ridiculous. But I'm going <laughs> to sneak it back in. We're going to Washington for Christmas this year, so I think I'm going to sneak it in and give it to someone. Oh, really? That, okay, so it's not just your inner... It, no, it's like my mom's whole side oh, of the family. Oh, wow. Okay. Been passing this thing That's around. That's pretty cool. How long has that been? About 12, 13, I'd have to look years? on the box. It's been since the 90s. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm going to take it back and give it to someone. That's going to throw it on to somebody? I'm going to get, it, get it out, back out of North Carolina. It's been stuck over here for a while. Good. Yep, pass it along. I think I've had it for a couple of years, so it's time for it to go. Mm -hmm. Why is it wasting room? No, it's just, I'm not going to grow it. No one's grown it. And, you know, it's just kind of a thing. I was thinking about growing it and then giving it to someone, but that'd be weird. So. <laughs> but yeah, like... Well, like Hasn't like, been around for 40 no. years, though. It might be. No. Chia Pets have not been around for 40 years. Yeah, but it might be, if you keep going. Oh, if we keep going, sure. Keep it going, man. Definitely. See how far. You might be able to get in the news one day. Yeah. But, yes, they've been doing this. It's just kind of a funny story. It's nothing amazing. But it's just interesting that this car has survived for so long. That is impressive. Usually, considering paper does not hold up well yeah. over time. Usually I throw mine in a drawer, and then about a year and a half later, they get thrown away. You pull away. them out and go, hey, look, $20. <laughs> I've done that before. Everyone's probably I'll done probably that. have. But, yeah, I mean, they either get thrown away immediately or tossed in a drawer just to make yourself feel Until better. Until you move, and then you're like, man, yeah. i got to get rid of all yeah. these. I think, I think it's a self-realization, like, oh, this ma it, this makes you feel good if I keep this. Because right. someone gave this yeah, to you. Yeah, it's not about the, not about the gift that they got you. I want to keep this you. car that they spent the time to sign their name. Yeah, and then about a year and a half. And everyone knows how hard it is to pick out a good birthday card. Especially, it's got to be the right amount of funny for the right person. Mm -hmm. And you got to spend about And by the right amount of funny for the right person, I mean it has to be just hilarious, no matter who it is, whether they're serious or not. But have you noticed that cards have gone up? Yeah, cards are expensive. This guy's saving money. Yeah. And we're sitting here paying probably $4.99. probably spent like 20 cents on that card when it came out. Most likely. I'm spending four ninety nine a card and it's just getting ridiculous, you know, it's yeah. just... It's, it's insane. It's insane. In right? the membrane. Mm -hmm. You know what else is insane in the membrane? What's that? Pirates. Pirates. Who's our favorite pirate? Uh, Blackbeard. Yours is Blackbeard? I think it's just the first one I thought of that wasn't Johnny Depp. Captain so. Hook. <laughs> <laughs> are pirates good or bad? They are technically bad because they're plundering. But everyone's but favorite person on the cool. sea. Everyone doesn't like the British Empire in this stage. They like pirates. Of course. The pirate era was like all about the pirates. I'm going to go into this right here. We've got Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. He's 52 years old. He doesn't yeah, look he's 52. he's an old man. He doesn't look 52. Yeah, he's an old fart. He is. But... I don't think 52 is actually that old. That's let's pretty see. young for most people today. Let's in see. case there's any 52 year olds out there watching. We do not think you're an old fart. Unless you're a 52 year old pirate. Ooh, if you're a 52 year old pirate, I want to. Actually, if you're a 52 year old pirate, that means you're like still pirating. That's awesome. Are they pirating music? Or do you think they're actually out on the seas pirating? Because that still happens. That's still a thing that happens. Yeah. Just not right. It's here not anymore. cool. Yeah, definitely not. It's not cool to steal people's boats and all their stuff Oil. and take them hostage. Nothing. Johnny Depp. You know what is cool? Is Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp's cool as pirate. He's also weird. He is weird. He's quirky. What did he do this time? But it says Johnny Depp took some time away from the set of Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. So I guess they are. Dead Men Tell No Tales. Wait, that's the name of the new Pirates I movie? I guess so. So what is this? Pirates 5? Five? 5. 5 or 6. Because let's see, the first one was Dead Men's Chest. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dead Men's Chest. No, Chris no, Black, Black Pearl. Dead Men's Chest. Dead Men's Chest. End of the world or something uh -huh. like that. And then the and then mermaid like, one. What was that called? Gosh, that was with like some highlighter or whatever. Yeah, yeah what was that one called though? Um, it was of the Caribbean it was the probably Mermaid the, Story. It was something stupid. It was the It was not Dead Men Tell No Tales. No, it was a dumb movie. Do you think Dead Men Tell No Tales is going to feature Orlando Bloom again? As John he, as he was David, in, he was in Walker. Walker. No, he was not. He was in I am not sure, but I think this one's going to be ten times better because they released the fourth one way too fast. Yes. So I think they've spent some time on this one. I think it's going to be really good. Okay. So he um, took some time off. He took some time off and he went to go visit a children's hospital on Tuesday in Australia. This Tuesday? Like yesterday? I believe so. Whoa. And this is, the story's already out. 
Uh, but the um, the news captured it. He was uh, giving hugs and sitting talking to people. He was like, hey, I'm a pirate. Everyone, yeah, everyone loved it, man. Was everyone, he talking like he does in the movie? Yeah. And he's all like, oh. everything, everything's perfect. He was giving out hugs, talking to people. I think it's pretty cool. He did. You know what else he did? You think this is pretty cool? He did uh, Twenty One Jump Street. He did Twenty One Jump Street. But did you know at Disneyland there are three uh, Jack Sparrows on the ride? Mm -hmm. If there was a fourth one, sometimes Johnny Depp goes into that ride and dresses up and stands in there. I did not know that. And it's pretty cool, I think. It was either two of them, and then he's the third one, or is, there's three of them, and he's the fourth one. Oh, that's great. She'll, she'll know. Yeah, she would know. She loves but, Disney. Oh, does she? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that he does that. Interesting. That uh, is very cool, though. But every other week, every third week, we talk about Taylor Swift. We talk about Taylor Swift. We talk about Taylor Swift. Swift. We just have to. We've been trying some... not to, because the, it's been kind of getting repetitive with her. The new... <laughs> Yeah, Man, it, she does some cool stuff. It has, things. but this needs to be announced. But Taylor Swift, um, I think we just lost all of our viewers. Most likely, she's probably the strongest person. She she's she loves her fans. She just really likes her fans. That's all there is. She's a big supporter. So um, she's known for showing up at weddings, you know, donating money, letting people take pictures of her, which she does not like doing. Really? Yeah, if you notice that like any pictures of her are usually from like something she did with a fan or like some very controlled setting. Yeah. She does not like the paparazzi just taking pictures of her. Mm. She's very peculiar about she it. Is. Not interestingly enough. This is what I heard. And now it's grand, it's the internet. And they're probably trying to make her look terrible because the whole thing with Katy Perry. But that is what I read. They try to do that, I guess. My phone will not stop giving me news stories about Taylor yeah. Swift and Katy Perry. And it's starting to get old. I now, really like Taylor Swift. But this was it's getting ridiculous. You didn't pick the story out, no, so you can blame, everyone can blame it on me that I pulled this story out of the hat. It's a good story. Let's good probably story. talk about it. So, um, I guess we have a, a girl, Naomi. She's 11 years old. She's a big Taylor Swift fan. Probably, cool. Probably bigger than you. Good choice. Um, but she found out uh, in June she has leukemia. Um, but it looks like she has taken Taylor Swift's bad blood and turned so it around. She has bad blood? Yes. But. That's kind of twisted. That, she has I know, but that's what she says. I mean, oh, she said that. Yeah, well, she, okay, but okay, she, then you're just she's, quoting. She's her. determined to find it. Cool. I didn't quote. I didn't say that. So you don't don't beat me no, up for that. Don't send she your hate mail to, to Chris. No. she said that herself. No, and I'll the give you my email at the end of the week. You give your email? What? No, I won't. I won't do that. Okay. I'll send your hate mail to James. That's right. I love hate mail. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Oak, uh, but Oak's family posted a video on July fifth. You know, explaining. Uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, about how she was struggling with leukemia, and the, the theme song was Bad Blood, which is funny in its own way. But um, it looks like Taylor Swift has... Well, maybe she's talking about the leukemia, like she has bad blood with the leukemia. Yes, exactly. You know? That's and now they can never be friends. Yes. Which I guess makes sense. It's dark. That's it, kind of dark. That is dark. But uh, it looks like she uh, caught the attention of Taylor Swift, uh, which is... Not so. No, well, it's kind it's of surprising. Kind of surprising. She has a lot surprising. of fans, mm -hmm. but Taylor Swift also interacts with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Somehow, she's she's probably one of the most. Do you think she like artists. lives on her phone? I don't know. That's a good point. How does she interact with so many there, fans? I guess a lot of things that I've seen posted is like, oh, tag you know, or help me tag this person and repeat and you know, always uh, tag them in this picture, get their attention, so I can get what I need. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that happen before, so I don't know if that's how they pushed it or. You know, there's if Taylor Swift has people that look constantly uh, through social media to Either find way. something. Either way, it's a she very, found this girl. She's probably one of the uh, she's probably one of the most popular artists around. I would say. Yeah, I'd say definitely one of the most known artists around right yes. now. Yes. I don't know if I'd say popular, but definitely the one of the most known. Yes, one of the most known. We'll say that. But uh, she caught the attention of Taylor Swift, and Taylor Swift has donated fifty thousand uh, dollars to the girl with leukemia. So. Um, so yeah, yeah the Taylor dude. Swift is just cool. She did write a note. She said, uh, to all beautiful and brave Naomi, I am sorry you have to miss it, but there will always be more concerts. Let's focus on getting you feeling better. I'm saying the biggest hugs to you and your family. So um, I guess that video was posted, and I guess she must have missed the concert. Mm -hmm. But um, 
fifty thousand dollars that will help her with her treatment. And yeah. I'm pretty sure Taylor Swift's most likely gonna give her a ticket later on down the road to one of her concerts. She probably. Backstage that sounds like class. something she would do. She would definitely do that. That I, sounds like Taylor. I call it today. You call it? Yes. Okay. So indefinitely one well, since who knows if we'll ever hear about that or not. We can never prove or disprove mm -hmm. if that does or not does not happen. But you know what we can prove if it does that? happen? Break. The break. We're gonna break it down. So we're gonna take a break. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We're gonna talk about a blog post that I read earlier today about technology and lies. And then we're gonna talk about something else that Oh, we're going to talk about subscription services for software because it's getting ridiculous. Uh, mostly a pet peeve because something that happened to me today. And then we're going to close the show. So don't go away. We'll be right back.